Hey, how are you doing today, YouTube? Uh, this is TK and Jin, aka Tech and Jin, Jin, Kazu, whatever forum or Justin TV, wherever you see me from. And I thought I'd give a quick, I guess, uh, tutorial video and how to actually, I guess, do this side game, uh, Gravity for You, from uh, the Idol Master, available on the limited edition of Idol Master 2 for the Japanese PS3. And we have six options here we have come and meet your idol let's photo playlist option credits and uh, special contents in this in number one you actually get to talk to haruka and she um talks to you in the sense of like you know how the whole i guess you could say cover girl works and shit like that i'm not doing a straight up translation don't feel like it right now and then in Let's Photo, this is where the fun begins, where you get to pick whichever idol of your choice. Playlist? Here, I'll give a... Here's the Let's Photo section, just to make things more visual. So we have Haruka, we have Chihaya, we have Mami, Yori, Azusa, Yayoi, uh, Takane, Miki, Makoto, Ritsuko, Ami, Hibiki, Yukiha, and you know, they show like how old they are, weight, and all that other stuff. And with Triangle Desert, it shows you like a profile video. And they talk about, you know, oh, I like doing this, these are my ambitions, and whatnot. So, just to give you an example, I'll do one of one of my favorite idols. And that was the introduction video to that portion. So, let's go back and show you option number three on Gravity for You. Here's a list of songs that you get to pick, and you can pick them in any which order. So we have Haruka Red Mix. I mean, again, this is only for Volume 1. There's going to be multiple volumes coming out. So you have Haruka Red Mix, Little Match Girl. I'm trying to remember the name of this song, but I can't right now. Uh, Cosmos, Cosmos, Watashi wa Idol. Um, Idol Master, Second Mix. On my way. Maho Kagete. L-O-B-M. So, you know, things of that nature. So you get to pick them in any which way, shape, or form. You can make it random, whichever ones you like, and you'll have it there on the playlist. Whoops. And then we have options. So this is like, you know, of course this is just normal, like, you know, Pretty much easy, like, translation, you know, here's the music, how loud or low you want it, the voice for the girls, your camera, um, pan and feel, the way it rolls, you know, do you want a preview, autofocus, or do you want to manually change it, all up to you. And then we have the credits, so it just shows the whole entire Seiyuu cast, whoever who did who like Haruka, Nakamura, you know, you have uh, Chihaya's, which is Asami, Mai, yada yada yada. So that's just to do that as a quick, quick uh, presentation. And then we have special contents, which it has the first, uh, I'm trying to think of, first trailer or first uh, preview video for Idol Master 2 and then it has a loading song and now let's get to the main course 
well, at least the main thing. This is the first time I've ever really done a, I guess you could say a tutorial video with audio. So, hope it's not the worst thing you've heard. So, you can pick again whichever idol you have in mind of doing pictures with. So, in this case, I'll pick one of my favorites. So I'll pick Tuffede. So, do you want to pick this girl? Yes. So how exactly do the controls work? So, pretty simplistic. You have the left stick, which, you know, comes in close, moves back, left, right. And then you have the right stick, which changes your angle. So, like, you can go here, go there, down. So, you have all different kinds of... So, you put them together to get whichever side that is of your preference. And then, um, and then L2, R2 to focus in, you know, zoom in. And then we have the select button. When you hold the select button, this is what we call in photography to change your depth of field. So that way you get your subject. You're trying to capture more of your subject rather than the background. So if you notice, the background is getting more blurry, but your subject, your subject is right there in focus. So you can change how much depth of field you really want. And then we have the requests. Oh no, what do these requests mean? Well, I'm going to tell you. First one is kawaiku. And this is to tell tell your subject, whichever idol you have, and tell her to do a cute pose. And then you have kakoyoku, which is uh, like a cool, like awesome pose, pretty much in terms of translation. Then you have sexini, which of course is very obvious, you know, sexy. You want something sexy. And then we have, you know, types of facial facial features that you want to, like, that you want your model, in a sense, to do. So we have warate, which is like to smile, also to laugh, but mainly smile in this case since we're talking about photography. And then we have kanashigeni, which is like more like of a, like sad, like, not, like kind of a face facial feature and then we have kirito which is like you know stern serious and then we have um misen kaite which is uh the eye placement or however you want to change um the movement or like how do i say this like which way you want her eyes to face you so you can change that and then you have mo iyo which is you know oh, that's enough so that and then we have Suate, and we have Makaseta, which is you leave it up to her. So just to show you a quick little example, this is what you call, this is the cute one. And so that's what they do. And then we have this new request. And what does this new request mean? Uh, Skoshi kaite is like, you know, change it up a little or a small variation. And so if you press it again, she'll do something a little different. So you you see how that goes and you see that's a different pose and so let's go back to the missing kite or eye placement so you notice here her eyes are more to the right notice again her eyes are more to the left you do it again she's looking straight at you now let's do what we uh suate which means to sit down so, so you notice here that now she's in that position. And then as you notice here, we have a new request. And this is tate, which means to stand. So you tell her to stand up. And we're going to get back up. And so let's see if I missed anything. And so from there on, I think... For those of you who have, you know, G4U or who will be buying the upcoming uh, Gravity 4Us, this is pretty much how the game is like. And so you can do all kinds of different cool pictures. 
and you can share it along with your friends pretty much on your PSN for example okay I can't show it right now but okay in this portion as I've realized that you can't really go on your PSN menu and look at all your photos and whatnot because when you actually take the pictures it saves it onto your PS3 so we'll get out of here I don't want to try and show too many pictures because some of them may seem a little, I guess you could say, off for YouTube standards. So here we go. This is where all your photos will be saved. So you'll have all a whole bunch. I mean, I did a whole bunch of them because during the time I did this, I did a stream and had pretty much did a photo session with whatever group that the viewers wanted, and I took the pictures for them. And so you can actually, let's say you have a friend who's like a big old fan of this model and whatnot. So, you know, you got this, create a message, yada, yada, yada. Blah, 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 blah. Huh, doesn't have some. I don't remember that. Start new tab. I do not know why I can't remember how to send something. I was like an attachment. But you can send them as attachments to friends on your PSN or you transfer it from your USB from the PS3 to the USB onto your laptop and you can use it as like your own uh, your own background. And so, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, well, that's that. So, get those volumes or whatever the hell you're going to do with it. Have fun, guys.